I've just finished recording a video about No Churn Cookie Monster ice cream. Whilst I'm eating the rest of it, let's talk about dextrose in our sugar series, episode two. Sugar in ice cream is essential. If you don't have it, your ice cream will be an absolute block of ice. That's just a fact. The sugar reduces the freezing point of your mixture so that it turns into ice cream rather than ice. So we discussed basic sucrose in the first episode of our sugar series. Second episode is dextrose. So what is dextrose? Dextrose is a simple sugar made from corn or wheat. In North America, it's often called corn sugar. In the UK, it's often called brewer's sugar, and you can buy it from any beer making or brewing company out there, pretty much all across the world. Dextrose is almost identical to glucose, and it is actually a different name for D-glucose. There are two different types of dextrose, monohydrate and anhydrous. Monohydrous dextrose has one crystallized water molecule, anhydrous has zero crystallized water molecules. Dextrose is also used in energy bars because it's a simple sugar, your body can convert that into energy very, very quickly. For that reason, people have often used dextrose to combat the effects of diabetes or hypoglycemia, which is chronically low blood sugar. When your blood sugar level gets too low, you can buy dextrose tablets and dextrose gel to rapidly increase your blood sugar level to get you back to where you need to be. In ice cream, dextrose is a lovely sugar to include because it has such a high impact on the freezing point. This means that if you change some of your sucrose to dextrose, your ice cream will be softer straight out of the freezer and easier to scoop. Also, dextrose is 70 to 80% the sweetness of sucrose, table sugar. So if you, if you love your ice cream and you love the texture, but it's still too sweet to taste, you can remove 20, 25% of your sucrose and change that for dextrose, and you will keep the same texture and drop the perceived sweetness level down. With a pod of 70 and a pack of around 190, it affects the freezing point almost twice as much as sucrose whilst reducing the perceived sweetness. In ice cream, you can use up to 50% dextrose and still keep a recipe balance. This means that if you love chocolate ice cream, which always goes hard when you freeze it, you can increase the amount of dextrose, reduce the amount of sucrose, and your chocolate ice cream becomes much softer and easier to scoop straight out of the freezer. A good place to start if you're just starting to use dextrose is to use 75% sucrose or table sugar and 25% dextrose. After that point, you can adjust to a level that suits you. Nice and easy one for dextrose. Again, it's a really easy, simple sugar to include and has such an effect on the ice cream. I strongly recommend you try it if you can get it. If you can't get dextrose, sub it straight for glucose. It's basically the same Thing. Okay, you can buy powdered glucose, liquid or glucose syrup, all these kind of options. So if you find glucose syrup in your supermarket, you can use that in exactly the same numbers as any dextrose amount in my recipes. Hope you enjoyed a quick touch on sugars episode two. And in a few weeks, we'll do the next episode so that you can understand a bit more about the science that goes into making ice cream. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.